Well, this should be interesting. This is a very light package around A4 size, so I reckon this must be my 6mm light plywood. I got a couple of comments from Bin Shot A Lot and Ingmar Mines. I'm sorry if I said that name wrong. Um, questioning why I'm not using air assist. I freely admit that's because I'm partly too interested in continuing with other projects, too busy with work and a bit too lazy. I do have this nozzle that I prepared for my laser cutter. I see you printed it on this uh, relatively old rep wrap um, from, from Thingiverse. Um, that fits on the laser lens holder um, and it should have air from an air compressor coming into that pipe there. That's the pipe that was supposed to fit into here. Well in fact it does fit into here but it's far too stiff. The laser steppers just weren't powerful enough to move it around reliably. I probably could have dialed up the stepper drivers a little bit but that seemed overkill. I just accepted that this is basically the wrong pipe. This is actually nylon pipe that I bent into this shape um, that I set into this shape using hot water but don't do that guys nylon pipe does not work a uh, normal air compressor line would work fine this is the air compressor that I bought to uh, well there you go it says air compressor on it this is what I was hoping would supply enough air pressure um, for the air assist However, when it passes through, the air from this passes through this pipe, it somehow loses pressure entirely. I think that's a mixture of this not having an air reservoir or an air tank, um, and also just this the flow rate being too low um, on this. Uh, this is actually a high-end fish tank compressor, whereas I think I should have just been using a normal workshop compressor for the air feed. I didn't actually mean to uh, talk about my air feed attempt in this video but I thought it was worth mentioning in case someone thinks of going down the same route that I did, just don't. Um, I'm going to use this same nozzle uh, at some point in the future with a proper workshop air compressor and airline uh, and that should improve the quality of cuts on my K40 laser cutter a great deal. So. Let's see what this 6mm uh, light ply looks like and then see if it's possible to cut it on my 40 watt laser cutter without air assist. I think I may be pushing my luck um, with such a cheap machine. My 40 watt laser cutter is a cheap eBay model uh, that cost me no more than £400. So I think considering that it's served me well for over a year now um, and I'm actually selling items that I've cut on it, it's done really well. Uh, that stuff looks quite thick, but this is exciting. There's only one other video I've ever seen of someone cutting 6mm ply on a K40 machine. Um, it seems to be the only video on eBay of someone doing that. I suspect maybe they were actually using this sort of 6mm. Um, the guy in that video incidentally was using a mirror to check underneath the wood as it was cutting on the laser cutter which I absolutely would not do I mean considering he did that um, he might be towards the crazy side of genius um, but let's see how this does on my machine 6mm light pop apply on 40 watt laser So I managed to miss the wood, that was pretty stupid. Let's see if the side of the plywood falls off. So yeah, air assist would have been good. But 
it went through. I'm impressed with this laser cutter. Not the most reliable cut. I think you'll agree with me, that's pretty good considering the shortcomings of this machine. This piece that I'm cutting here is my calibration piece. I cut this on it out of all new materials I try to cut on the laser cutter. Uh, and the idea is that if the teeth fit together, um, then the laser beam offset is compensated for correctly. But first try, as they say on Braille skateboarding, uh, if you haven't watched that channel, check it out. First try fit. I think that the, the angle on the side of this cut, um, because of the depth of the wood, the cuts come out quite angled, but there's not necessarily anything that you can do about that, um, at least without doing modifications that I've already talked about in this video. Not bad. So now I've dialed the laser power back to about 75%. It's showing about 20 milliamps on the laser power dial. Um, I'm going for a 5 mm per second cut um, and I've just uh, set that up for as many passes over the path as it takes to go through the material. I'm reducing the laser power quite a lot because of that fire. I think it may already have gone through though. It's now reading about 10 milliamps. This stuff is cutting like butter. All I need to do is find the settings that don't cause it to look like burnt toast. Five millimeters a second, 10 milliamps laser power. This stuff cuts easier than the 3mm almost. I think maybe it's uh, the poplar. Interestingly, as I was saying, I think the 3mm wood that I used in the last video was also poplar. It looks almost identical to this piece, which is definitely poplar. Looks like I hit the end stops there. Okay, that's gone through already. That was probably about five goes over the same route. I reckon I could reduce this to four or even three goes over the same path. It's quite interesting, it seems to not go through towards that end of wood. I've never actually experienced the laser power reducing uh, that way. The laser power always reduces as the head moves out from the origin, in my experience. If anyone knows why that could be, uh, leave a comment. edges. But perfectly sized cuts. It's 
slight smoke damage. Reduce the laser power to 6 milliamps. So this final piece was 7 millimeters per second at only 6 milliamp laser power and three goes got through easily but again with a lot of charring on the edges. But thanks again to uh, Bin Schottelot and Ingmar Mines uh, for nudging me about getting an air assist fitted to my laser cutter because as I said it's something that I've always meant to do uh, never quite got around to it because the performance when cutting acrylic was fairly good but uh, if I'm thinking of final finish on cuts in wood like this that I do um, I could get a piece which hardly required any manual finishing at all if I just used uh, an air assist on my uh, cutting head anyway it's official six millimeter light poplar ply does cut very well on the 40 watt laser cutter although the finish could do with some improvement which uh, if I get round to fitting this air assist correctly um, I'll be sure to make another video about that so if you want to see more laser cutter related stuff CNC related stuff electronics related stuff Make sure to subscribe. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more open source electronics, kind of makery sort of stuff. I make videos about Arduinos, including the obligatory Arduino watering system. Um, I modified a Chinese laser cutter to run on G code. I started using that to make laser cut marketry. I also made a blog about building my own CNC machine from scratch uh, using acrylic sheets and uh, the open build C-beam system. So there's a whole playlist which will kind of show you the process and all of the designs for that CNC machine are available for you to download um, and you can make your own. I used that CNC machine to engrave some veneer to create a replica of the puzzle box from the Hellraiser series of films, uh, which was my entry for the Instructables Halloween contest this year. There's a lot of miscellaneous stuff on my channel, but if you're into maker stuff, you're probably going to find it interesting to subscribe. I'm really happy that I breached the 500 subscriber mark uh, before the end of 2016. Um, and I'm really looking forward to see what this new year brings. 